talk about art block while I sketch a little bit. So summer's just been, and as usual, that means that I've been going through a bit of an art block. This happens to me quite regularly, mainly when my routine changes. So I haven't been going to uni every day, I haven't had a reason to get up at a reasonable time every day, and that just kind of throws me off. So I thought I'd share some of the things that help me when I'm going through a bit of an art block. So one of the main things I like to do is set up a long-term project for myself so that if I'm ever stuck with ideas I can always go back and kind of add to this series of work that I'm doing. You may have seen on my channel I do a series about alphabet animals where I literally just draw an animal and I go through the alphabet one by one. So whenever I'm stuck for ideas I'll go back and I'll draw an animal for the next letter of the alphabet. I'm also trying, I say trying because it may not come to anything, but I have got a good idea for a comic that I would like to do. And um, that's actually what I'm doing in this video. I'm just drawing the building that I want my comic to be set in. Again, if I'm stuck for ideas, I'll go back to the idea of this comic and what else can I do to build the world that it's set in. I've been doing a lot of OCs and character designs for it, which is nice when I want to draw people. And also, a comic is so broad that if I feel, like even if I'm stuck for ideas but I know I want to draw a landscape, I can make the landscape applicable to the comic. So I'll be drawing the town that it's set in and like all the architecture and everything and that kind of, it's not much but it gives me some direction to go in, which is better than nothing. Another thing I like to do is set deadlines for myself. If I set goals, like weekly goals or daily or even monthly goals, it's still something to work towards and to actually get the ball rolling and be like, okay, I gotta think of something in this time frame. It almost doesn't matter what it is, like as long as you do something, even if it's bad, at least you've done something in that time period. Whereas as me personally I know I wouldn't have done anything. So that's part of the reason I like YouTube so much is because like it's a weekly upload schedule so I know that I have to do something every week so that stops me from doing nothing every week. It just gives me a goal to work towards and that's those are generally the circumstances in which ideas come to me. Another thing if you're stuck for ideas you can find a prompt generator. Last year you may, may not know I did a challenge where I drew an illustration every single day for the whole year. Now obviously the, that's a lot of drawings and um, obviously I was stuck for ideas a lot of days so I did use a prompt generator for the days that I was stuck for ideas on. The website that I used for art prompts is just called artprompts.org and it has different categories, it has characters, creatures, environments, objects but um, it's a really good website so I'd recommend it. Oh, Pinterest is also amazing for ideas. You can also do drawing challenges, but even if there aren't any challenges that you actually want to enter, you can just use the prompts from them. Or you can use prompts from a different drawing challenge like Inktober, just go through their prompts from previous years and draw something from them. Or any of the other ones that happen in the other months. There are so many now I can't keep track of them all. Another thing with art block and stuff like this is sometimes you do just need a break, you know? Sometimes you just need to take a step back and take a walk or take a nap or anything. Just look at something else for a while and then come back to it with uh, fresh ideas. One thing I will say is though, don't wait for inspiration. Inspiration is bullshit, okay? It happens a few times in your entire lifetime. Like, don't wait for it. You have to find the ideas for yourselves, not wait for them to find you. Another thing is, um, if you're struggling for ideas in one media, maybe you won't struggle so much with a different media. So if you've been staring at a screen for a long time, try sketching something in a sketchbook or try something completely different. Try painting, try just doing a DIY crafty thing. Just anything is better than nothing. Don't put too much pressure on yourself if you have got art block. Art block happens to everyone, so don't get discouraged. It's how hard you work to get around the problem that matters. And sometimes that work is just taking care of yourself and taking a break and just resting and then coming back to the problem refreshed. Okay, thanks for listening to this unorganized ramble as most of my ramblings are. I hope that this was understandable. I mumble a lot, I am aware of that. But yeah, I'll, I hope to see you again. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that I see. Oh.